Hi there guys, Tom Quayle here for Sound Effects Premiere in Ormskirk, back with another demo, this time of this fabulous, I totally fell in love with this the moment I saw it, this is the Fano Out De Facto JM6 guitar, and this particular one has been customised by the guys here at Sound Effects Premiere, ordered specially for the store, and as soon as I saw it I just fell in love with it, I had to do a demo of it. Just a beautiful, beautiful looking and sounding instrument. So, let's start up at the headstock and find out what we've got here in terms of construction, and then as usual we'll have a listen to it. So we've got six on one side Goto Cluson style tuners, okay, vintage style, uh, really, really nice thread through the top, um, very good action on these, really good tuning stability. We've got this um, red kind of um, finish on top of the headstock and then the Fano decal with the de facto, um, Alt de facto JM6 decal on there. Uh, tusk nut, really, really cool, that's Graftech tusk nut. So again, good tuning stability, lots of lubrication in there, really, really nice. Uh, we've got a maple neck, which is finished with a gloss finish, looks really, really nice. Okay, and this is a vintage 60C style neck, so super comfortable in that kind of medium zone of being just thick enough, but not too thick, really, really nice. Turn over, we've got a rosewood fretboard with these dot inlays and vintage style frets. They're sort of tall and wide, but not too tall and wide. Uh, not particularly modern in any sense, but again, very comfortable, well set up. And as we move down, you'll see we've got a 22 fret neck and it's uh, a bolt on with this cool Fano backplate. Really, really nice, I love that. And then we've got contoured neck joint here uh, with a little, uh, the, the small heel and then this little cutaway, which allows very, very good access to the upper fret. So I can get all the way to that 22nd fret with room to spare, no problem at all. We've got the Plexi Gold Scratch Plate on a Swamp Ash body. And this is unbelievably light. This is lighter than I have a Carina guitar, which is known for being super light. This is even lighter, unbelievably light guitar. Um, and Definitely not sort of neck heavy. Sometimes with these light bodies, you get the neck is too heavy. This is nicely balanced, really, really nice when you've got it on a strap. We've got Lindley Fraylin P90s, finished in chrome, which is just super cool, looks amazing. Um, this is uh, a, just a, a beautiful finish. Um, the actual name of it, something like Fire, uh, fire rod or something or hot rod, I can't quite remember. Um, we'll make sure that's in the details for the demo for you, but just a really, really cool looking finish. Then we've got Tone Pro's hardware for the bridge and the tailpiece, really, really cool. We've got volume control, three-way switch, and then we've got a 10 position tone control. So it's almost like having presets for your tone control. So they click into position and gets darker the further you go, basically. Really, really cool, so I'll demonstrate that for you. That's something I've not come across before, but a very nice feature. Top mounted jack, and then obviously we've got our strap buttons on there, and that's it. So nothing crazy going on here. Maybe the 10-way 10, 10 tone control is unusual, but really nice feature. So let's have a listen to how it sounds. I'm running straight into a Roland Jazz Chorus uh, JC90 here, which is mic'd up from the 757. And I've got a little bit of delay with an Eventide H9 going on as well. So clean tone from the neck P90, a little bit noisy, obviously because of uh, the, all the lights we've got going on here, P90s are, you can hear that. Uh, as soon as I touch the guitar, that goes away, so we get this. tone, not too spiky, not too spanky, just a really fat, warm, lovely tone. If we switch down to the middle position, we get this. This is both P90s together. A little bit of a tuning error. Now to the bridge position, this is what we get.
really easy to play, tons of sustain as well, and a beautiful tone from the P90. It's just got enough edge without being kind of aggressive sounding. So let's check out that tone control. So if I go back to the neck pickup, again, we've got a 10-way position switch here. So here's position one. And as we roll back, you probably hear it click. are our 10 positions and that's really useful because it allows you to dial in exactly the same tone setting every single time. Really useful for recording actually if you want to make sure that the tone control is set to the same position every single time. So that's a lovely feature. So let's check out how it sounds with overdrive. I'm going to use a one platonus pedal here uh, straight into the front of the JC90. Uh, I'm going to switch to the bridge position pickup. Let's switch the tumnus on and we get this. So you can hear the effect the tone control is having on there as well with those 10 different positions, kind of pushing the mids almost as if we've got a half cocked wire going on, which is super cool. Let's try the middle position. I'll leave the tone control alone this time. <laughs> And then finally, the neck position, same thing. So just a fantastic instrument in every single respect. Very cool looks, very cool tones, and very, very well made, beautiful kind of hardware, very nice aesthetics. So that's the Fano Alta Facto JM6. Hope you've enjoyed the demo guys, and I will see you next time.